Wally here and I hope you're having a good day because today I want to talk about another game from my gaming collection and this game means a lot to me and it is Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition for the Nintendo Switch. I have played so much Street Fighter in my entire life and you might have too. Maybe you played a Street Fighter game here or there. There are so many of them, so many iterations. So in this video I want to just talk about I think my Street Fighter journey in general revolving around the games that are included in this collection. First of all, this is just a really good box art of some of the main characters, some of the characters that showed up throughout the series including Ryu, Kami, Sagat, Chun-Li, Rose, and Bison, and that dude who I don't really remember. I think that's Alex. I'm not really sure what his name is. I didn't really play a lot of Street Fighter 3. Well, what Street Fighter did I play? Well, let's go all the way back to Street Fighter 2 and in the arcades. There was a local bowling alley where my brothers and I would go to and I just remember hearing all these sounds and people huddled around one arcade cabinet in general and that was Street Fighter 2. And I can just being, I can remember being a little kid looking up and just thinking, what is this? What, what is this awesome huge, like uh, huge character graphics? What are these two people are doing? They're fighting, uh, you know, it's like cartoon looking, it's colorful, but it's also seemed very competitive. And I really wanted to know more about it. So fast forward, I had a Super Nintendo and we got Street Fighter 2 Turbo uh, for the SNES. And, and let me put the, let me turn this around so you can see the games that are on in this collection. You have a host of Street Fighter games, uh, including Street Fighter 2s and Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2s and Alpha and, and Street Fighter 3. But uh, the one we had for Super Nintendo was the Turbo version that we were able to up the speed. And I really liked that because I felt the combat in the original Street Fighter 2 was not as fast. So moving onward, we played that a whole lot. That was our days after school, our weekends. My older brother, huge fighting game fan, you know, he's the one that really brought this into our uh, our world more so. He's the one that gravitated towards that arcade, arcade cabinet originally, and he loves fighting games to this day. So moving on from Street Fighter 2, I think we jumped to, I would like to say, Street Fighter Alpha 3 for PlayStation. Uh, for the first PlayStation, there was Street Fighter Alpha 3, very good series. Started having this more anime vibe. I really dug the look, the feel, the sounds, and the characters. They introduced one of my favorite characters, Charlie, and actually Sakura. So playing as the much cooler Guile, Charlie, and, you know, going through that, that, that game, and, you know, it, just everything was so fresh and new with the Alpha series. As a matter of fact, when I first got this collection, the first game and character I played as was Charlie in Street Fighter Alpha 2, and I went through and beat it. Uh, let me go back to my you know chronological series of events. So Street Fighter Alpha 3, we played a ton of that, and that is when I really just sunk my claws into this game as a single player component because the PlayStation version had a really cool like leveling up system. It was just it was just, it was the bomb. It was it was great. Uh, and then finally, I had a chance to get Street Fighter Alpha 2 for Super Nintendo at a, like a local used used game shop. They had a lot of those in like in the 90s, just going around on one Saturday and finding it for like 12, 15 bucks, maybe 20 at most, and taking that home. I really wanted to play Street Fighter Alpha 2, and I got to fall in love with that game. Uh, you know, it was uh, it had loading times on the Super Nintendo, if you can believe it or not, but it, it, it did. It was just pushing that system to its limits. You know, sadly, I did not get to play Alpha 2 in, you know, in other formats until this collection. And that's why that was the first game I tackled. And as I mentioned, Charlie is one of my favorite, you know, Street Fighter characters. And of course, I had to go through and beat that game with him right off the bat. And after that, though, like I remember my brother playing the Street Fighter 3 on Dreamcast and he would talk about that a whole lot. So I know he has more nostalgia about that. Me, sadly, I didn't play like any of Street Fighter 3 even to this day. Like when I play this collection, I'm playing, you know, Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I'm playing Street Fighter Alpha 2 and 3. And then, you know, looking at the various uh, added things they added to this collection, like art galleries. So it's, I should probably jump on that, shouldn't I? Like I have, I have all three versions of Street Fighter 3 right in front of me. I need to jump in. Uh, you know, I even own this now on Steam because this is kind of one of those games you want digitally. So maybe when the Switch uh, digital version goes on sale, perhaps I'll get it there. And uh, I believe I will be gifting this to one of my uh, my closest friends. Uh, she likes Street Fighter, so perhaps she will enjoy this as much as I have. In the comments, let me know your history with Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, Alpha, 
any other, um, you know, like side street fighters, like the, the EX series, I think they had for a while. That was the 3D one. That was kind of wacky. But let me know your history with street fighter. And if you got the 30th anniversary collection, I'd love to read all about it. As always, thanks for joining the party. Thanks for listening to me ramble and I'll see you in my next collection video.